Hi, I'm Farrell Byer, Executive Director of the Lake Barkley Chamber of Commerce. This week's Lake Barkley Chamber Spotlight shines on Ackridge Farm Supply and Ace Hardware of Eddyville, Kentucky. Today we're talking with Paul Ackridge. And Paul, you are what, the third generation? The third generation. The third right. generation in the Ackridge lineage. So at this time, Paul, I'd just like to give you the microphone and you just tell us a little bit about Ackridge, okay? okay. Well, thank you, Farrell. Uh, appreciate the Chamber spotlighting us this week. Uh, as you mentioned, we're a fourth generation store and I'm the third generation. Uh, our store started down in Fredonia back in 1933. My grandfather, uh, Thomas Rubel Ackridge, he started a, they call it a dry goods store back then. He pretty much sold whatever he could get his hands on at that time in 33. The depression was going on, so goods weren't that plentiful. But my dad said he used to sometimes ride a train to Louisville to pick up merchandise or, or just go wherever he could to get stuff to sell. But uh, we started out, like I said, in 33, and uh, my dad, he grew up there in Fredonia, uh, played basketball at Murray State, and then went to the Army, thought he might want to teach, taught a few years at Crittenden County, and then uh, came back to the store, decided he wanted to help my dad. So in about the mid-50s, dad came back to the store in Fredonia. And uh, the store grew, they started selling more farm supplies, uh, fencing, uh, seed corn, chemicals, uh, anything that farmers could use. So back then we were known as T.R. Ackridge and Son Farm Supply. Uh, bought from several different hardware wholesalers. In about uh, 19, the mid-1970s, hired a young man out of uh, Murray State here, it lived here in Catawba, Gary Holland, and he became kind of our farm manager. So we really picked up our business on the ag side, started doing more commercial ag spraying and uh, more seed corn, soybeans. Uh, the store was growing. Uh, hired another young guy, David Huffstutter, out of Murray State. He manages our store at Fredonia now on the inside, and uh, Gary Holland manages the ag side of it. Uh, in 80s, see, in 1982, I think it was, yeah, 1982, Edible really didn't have a hardware store at that time. I think they had a Western Auto, and my dad decided it might be a good idea to add a store in Eddyville. So uh, in 82, we bought the the current the building down on the corner of Maine that is now the the Kentucky Cooperative the Extension Office they call it but we bought that building and put in a store there and then in 86 we became affiliated with Ace Hardware we we kind of saw that they had more of a national name and a little more easily recognized so we started in with Ace Hardware and became known as Ackridge Farm Supply and Ace Hardware so uh, 80, that started in 86 down there. So I had uh, I'd gone to school here in Lyon County and, and went to Murray and was in construction, but I decided I thought I might want to come back and work with Dad. So in 1989, I came back and started managing the uh, Fredonia store, or the Eddyville store with uh, Barbara Angel and Judy Parent and some others, Chuck Backus. But uh, that store was growing. About that time, the mall was moving in, Farrell. The, so business was really picking up. Uh, the store was doing, you know, we thought it was doing the best we could and working uh, to keep things going. So uh, we saw a chance to expand, and in 1994, we moved down here to the location we're in now. We bought uh, the old Edible Tire Warehouse from Mr. Gray and then added uh, Dennis Faulkner from here in Lyon County. He built this building we're standing in now. So we added, we came from 2,000 feet down there on the corner to 10,000 feet here at this store. So we were able to add a lot more merchandise, start carrying a lot more items that Ace Hardware had. Uh, currently today at this location, we, we've got all the typical hardware store items, paint, uh, plumbing, uh, electrical, hardware, tools. Uh, in addition to those, we keep a, a big supply of lawn and garden uh, supplies and equipment. Uh, we sell Husqvarna riding mowers and push mowers. We're an Echo dealer, so we sell all Echoes, trimmers, and chainsaws. Uh, we have a full service shop that we run out of our Fredonia store, so we service everything we sell. We have uh, lumber, uh, we have PVC pipe, uh, we have some fencing over here, fence posts, some of the farm supplies that Fredonia has, but we don't have all the farm supplies. We, we complement each other a lot. Uh, they supply the ag side and the farm side. We supply more of the homeowner and the commercial and industrial. But we can trade back and forth so it works out uh, really well for both stores. 
Now, like we talked earlier, this is a fourth generation store now. Back about six years ago, my son graduated from uh, Murray State with a business degree. And uh, lucky for us, we were glad, proud to have him. He came back, and now he works at this store. So he makes this the fourth generation of Ackridge Farm Supply. And uh, he has two children now, Henry and Otter, and hopefully one day one of those will come in, and we might be a fifth generation. But uh, besides that, we are a family own business and a family operation we've got uh, people that work with us now they've been here 35 40 years so we've got a great crew of uh, of employees that uh like i said they about we've about grown up together here at this location and our fredonia location uh so they've got a lot of experience and a lot of love for the business i believe and uh you know it shows their customer service our uh, slogan is where customer service counts since 1933 and that was ingrained in us through my grandfather and my dad and my dad he's 82 now and he still goes into the store pretty much every day and uh i guarantee you when i call him he might say how you doing paul or what's going on but about the second sentence he said well how did it go at the store today he always wants to know what we sold how the store did how everybody's doing uh so he's still definitely involved in our business so uh that's we're lucky to have that but uh like i said this will be our 82nd year i believe Farrell, and uh we we hope to make it another 80 but uh eddieville and lyon county and the surrounding counties have all been great to us uh, you know, we strive to have as many products as we can, as many items. And, you know, our thing is if, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. And that's how we grew a lot of our business is people would ask for an item, we'd add it. People would ask for another item, we would add it. So we've done that over and over and over over the years, and that's what's helped us grow. So if we don't stock it right now and we see the customers are asking for it, we usually try to get it uh, as as much as possible yeah and we would like to uh for whatever your needs are we've we like i said we've got the two stores fredonia we're open monday through friday at fredonia and their hours are seven to five monday through friday and seven to three on saturday and then here in eddieville we're open seven to five thirty monday through friday and then seven to four on saturday we are closed on sunday but uh, we would like you to come see us, and we've got a lot of items in here. And if, like I said, we don't have it, we'll definitely get it or uh, try to get it for you. So we really appreciate it.